tuko sawa, Kenya tuko imara na Kenya tuwasonga mbele. Tunaelewana? Na tunataka kusonga mbele pamoja. Kufuatia kuchaguliwa kwake kwa mara ya pili mwaka 2017 Rais Uhuru Kenyatta aliweka wazi ajenda yake ya maendeleo inayozingatia nguzo nne kuu. Katika makala yetu ya Project 254 tunamulika ufanisi uliofikiwa katika ajenda kuu ya maendeleo ya rais na ni nini tunachokitazamia siku za usoni. Sisi tuamini ya kwanza tuweke wa Kenya pamoja sisi hatuna haja na mambo ya ukabila na mambo mengine tunataka wa Kenya wawe pamoja na ya pili tuwe na serikali ambayo mwelekeo ni maendeleo na kuboresha maisha ya wananchi wa kawaida wa jamhuri hii yetu ya Kenya Tunaanza kwa kuangazia nguzo ya utengezaji bidhaa hapa nchini na vile vile jinsi wazee mayatima na walemavu hapa nchini wanapatiwa shime nyakati hizi hasa tutaangazia sekta ya utengezaji nguo na ufufuzi wa sekta ya pamba hapa nchini sawia na kuona jinsi serikali inaendelea kuwapa shime wazee kupitia mpango maalum wa kuwapa kinwa mgongo hivi sasa wengi wanafurahia hili jambo sana textile and apparel sector has been recognized as one of the sectors that is critical for um, the major reason that it is a sector that can create many jobs. Kuanzia mwaka huu serikali imepania kuwekeza katika kuongeza thamani bidhaa ili kuimarisha mchango wa sekta ya utengezaji bidhaa hadi asilimia 15 kufikia mwaka 2022 to do that it's an ambitious target it means that the sector needs to be fully plugged in we have carried out a sector deep dive lengo likiwa ni kubuni nafasi za kazi milioni 1.3 kufikia mwaka 2022 nafasi 1500 kati yazo zikiwa katika sekta ya pamba na utengezaji nguo kupitia kwa utumizi wa mbegu za kisasa yani BT cotton sawia na kumotisha wawekezaji ili kuongeza mauzo ya kigeni kwa asilimia ishirini. Sekta ya utengenezaji wa nguo wakati mmoja ilichukua nafasi ya pili baada ya utumishi wa umma kwa kutoa nafasi nyingi za ajira. Kulikuwepo na zaidi ya viwanda hamsini za utengenezaji wa nguo. Maybe about seven or so are still left in operation. Zaidi ya vituo ishirini za kutayarisha zao la pamba vilivyotoa ajira kwa zaidi ya wakenya 1500 katika miaka ya 80. But things started uh, moving badly in 1990 when this uh, liberalization uh, came to the government. Sekta hiyo ilikuwa kubwa mno huku wakulima wakitabasamu na familia nyingi zikijikimu kwa mahitaji yao kupitia kwa zao la pamba ambalo kwa kawaida huhitaji nguvu kazi nyingi. So we want to bring that glory back. At the same time also bring back the glory of farmers the cotton growers and also the ginas and uh, that is our our main our main thing is also to create employment for the youth sera za benki ya dunia za kuleta uhuru wa masoko ziliwezesha nguo kuu kuu maarufu kama mtumba kuingia katika soko la Kenya um, whether they are substandard products in the textile industry products that are being dumped i.e. being sold at below production price and even the case of uh, second hand clothes and shoes uh, because these products give an unfair competition to the existing uh, uh, textile and apparel industry and without that being addressed it is hard to grow hali hii imesababisha kupungua kwa mapato katika sekta hii huku viwanda 
Vituo vya kuandaa pamba kama vile kampuni za Rivertex na Kisumu Cotton Mills zikianguka. Sisi tulisema ni kusema na kutenda sio kunena na kunena. Si ni namna hiyo wenzangu. Mpango wa agenda 4 kuu za maendeleo kupitia utengenezaji bidhaa chini ya uongozi wa Rais Uhuru Kenyatta hatua muhimu sasa zimechukuliwa ili kufufua sekta hiyo. Hata tukiwa huko upande ya, ya West Pokot na kuingine tumewaambia lazima sasa wapande pamba kwa wingi kwa sababu gani kwa sababu leo hii tumesema ya kwamba hii factory yenu hapa ya Rivertex ambaye sasa inaandika watu 600 tumeweka shilingi milioni 600 ndio tuongeze equipment ile iko hapo Rivertex ndio wale wa vijana ambao wameandikwa sasa ni karibu 600 tunataka wafike vijana 2000 ambao wanaandikwa katika hiyo kiwanda waweze kufanya kazi agenda for manufacturing is job creation. Uh, Rivertex currently has uh, 750 employees. We are going to move to 2,500 employees uh, when we finish modernization. So we shall gradually be increasing the number of employees as we run the factory to the farmers. We are about uh, 80 employees in this section and after modernizing for a start, we'll require about 180 employees to run three ships per day. Government also went ahead and gave us some uh, loan from Indian Eximba, which was signed by the two heads of state, the Prime Minister of India and uh, our, our Excellency, the President. So since then, we have seen a great stride in modernizing the factory. Uh, as we speak now, we shall have the largest production unit in the spinning department we shall have 16,800 uh, spindles, which other institutions here don't have. Siyo ni pesa na ni investment inakuja Eldore. Jameni munaweza kusema tulisahao vile mulitufanyia. Hiyo ni vikazi na ni kazi kwa vijana wetu. So I'm very happy to be part of this, and I think we are moving so much ahead uh, to modernize the place so that we also reduce our importation. The major product that we'll be getting after fully modernizing Rivertex is uh, school uniforms, that is checks, plain uniforms, then uh, we have military uniforms, police uniforms, we have uh, furnishing, that is uh, like curtains. Since we are doing the modernization, we have actually realized that our products are of quality than before. We are very hopeful by April we shall be done with modernization and therefore our capacity will increase 10 times to what we are making. We shall be able to make 40,000 meters per day versus the 10,000 we are making now. Because the technology we had here was a German technology, so we, are, uh, we want to align ourselves that so that we maximize on the production process. Rais ana maono ya uzalishaji mkubwa wa pamba iliyoimarishwa kisayansi ili kubuni maelfu ya ajira na kuwafikia shilingi bilioni 20 ya mapato kutokana na uzaji wa nguo katika masoko ya nchi za ngambo kama sehemu ya uradhi wake. This agreement like a goa that give us an advantage in terms of uh, exporting into into the US markets and we have advantage also into other markets. Mpango huo ambao utajumuisha mageuzi ya sera na kubuni mbinu mpya za kuwapa wakulima motisha unatarajiwa kubuni nafasi 1000 za ajira katika sekta ya nguo. Our facility is for research also and training where we we have students from various colleges, polytechnics, youth polytechnics, uh, even universities and uh, they are in interns here and also there are some in attachment right right now we have from nys we have from kiambu we have from kisum polytechnic kisi polytechnic and various other colleges yes.
Lengo kuu ni kuimarisha uwezo wa sekta hiyo ili kufaidi angalau watu milioni nane katika sehemu kame hapa nchini. This company to run effectively for a year we require 36000 bells per year to 40000 bells. So you can see we are nowhere. Uh, so currently we are importing cotton from two countries Tanzania and Uganda depending on the growing on the season. Kufufua viwanda vilivyoanguka na vituo vya kuandana kutengeneza pamba ni muhimu katika juhudi za kubuni ajira na mwishowe kupunguza umaskini na kujitosheleza kwa chakula. Hey, lazima kazi iendelee hiyo, lazima kazi iendelee. We only get around 10,000 uh, bells per year from local manufacturers or growers of cotton especially from Makueni area and partly uh, Kisumu area and uh, Mokotio area that area Kitui na Makueni ni moja wapo wa county ambako wakulima wananufaika na juhudi mpya za kufufua uzalishaji wa zao hili and from our side we appreciate as an authority that our seed is not of good quality and we have mechanisms that we are putting in place uh, and we want to appreciate the directive given by the president to ensure that we introduce the BT cotton in the very near future but also as a directorate we are trying to clean up our seed to ensure that the farmer gets the best seed right from the start Pamba ni zao lenye msururu mkubwa wa washikadau Nipanda tu ni nusu shamba yangu nikapata kama 30000 na ile mmengine kama mind ndemu hata sikupata hata ile kumi pamba hawezi kuola lakini inatoka pesa kwa hivyo ninawahimiza wapande pamba ili tuwe na nguvu ya, ku, ya kuongea na serikali tupate usaidizi wao ambao wanaweza kutupatia we go and give inputs on a credit scheme to the farmers and then we retrieve it once they bring the final produce to us utengenezaji wa nguo na bidhaa zingine vile vile viwanda vya kando kama vile utengenezaji wa mafuta chakula cha mifugo na bidhaa za usafi mmoja wapo wa sehemu za msururu huo we are adding a lot more value onto the fiber and the seed so basically the fiber is fine we're selling that to the textile mills and they're going to add more value into it but we're doing a lot more with the seed so we're doing biofuel out of it we're doing animal feed we're doing soap we have two expellers around the whole mill section whereby we expel out the vegetable oil from the cotton seeds of which we get the oil vegetable and the cotton seed cake mageuzi ya sera na kubuni mipango mipya ya kuatia wakulima motisha itawezesha hadi wakulima 1200 katika kaunti 21 zinazotoa zao hili kuingia katika ukulima wa pamba kinyume na idadi ya sasa ya wakulima 1030 waendelee na kufanya hii kazi kwa sababu uko huyu mmea uweze ukakula saa hiyo lakini uko na chakula kingine wakati ulivata pesa unaweza kununua mbegu na inzi for the fiber our biggest buyers are thicker cloth mills uh, supra textiles and uh, river tech. Juhudi hizi mpya za kufufua sekta hii zinaingiliana vilivyo na nguzo ya nne ya utengenezaji bidhaa katika ajenda nne kuu za maendeleo ukipenda the big four ili kuinua mchango wa kiuchumi wa sekta hii kutoka kiwango cha sasa cha asilimia 9.2 hadi 15. Sisi tuangalie mbele barabara ambayo tumeunda barabara ambayo tunajua tunaelekea tuwe focused na mimi sina shaka hapo tutafika Huku mbegu mpya ya biti cotton ikileta matumaini na tabasamu kwa wakulima ambao sasa wanasheheni matarajio ya mazao bora tabasamu za kipekee zinadhihirika kupitia mpango wa inua jamii unaowanufaisha waliochangia ufanisi wa taifa hili siku zilizopita
huku tukitizama mbele na kujivunia matunda ya ustawi wa taifa hili wa miaka hamsina sita tangu Kenya kujipatia uhuru Rais Uhuru Kenyatta pia ana mtazamo wa kipekee kwa wale waliochangia sana ustawi tunaojivunia Today our national safety net program Inua Jamii covers 720 persons up from 220 in 2013 Rais Kenyatta na watazama vyema wa Kenya walioko katika miaka yao ya uzeeni, wazee waliochangia kwa njia moja au nyingine ukuaji wa nchi kwa hali na mali. Watakuwa kila mwezi wakipata shilingi elfu ine kutoka kwa serikali kwake fursa ya kuwapatia bega la kujishikilia katika miaka ya uzeeni imewadia na ndio waweze kujisaidia kwa uzee wao na waweze kukaa maisha ambayo inastahili kulingana na ile kazi wamefanya kwa miaka mingi. Wazee wa miaka zaidi ya sabini sasa wananufaika kila mwezi kupitia mpango maalum wa inua jamii. Hii mradi Mungu asaidie serikali yetu kwa kile sasa tunagufu. Wengine wanabebwa wengine walikuwa nabebwa saa hii hata wengine wanaanza kukanyaga na miguu yao kwa sababu ya hii mradi the government of kenya came up with a cash transfer program to take care of the most uh, vulnerable within the society yeah. na waliona niko makamingi mama yangu na sawa tu kumi mimi ni atatu makane asukugani si Huku baadhi ya wakenya wakiwa wamefaulu katika maisha yao kuna wengi hawajajaliwa maishani kutokana na sababu mbalimbali mbali, na wengine wamejipata katika maisha ya changamoto kadhaa Mimi lazima haya na watoto so mtise. kama na malisha, kama na sedia, kama bana sedia, shauri ya watoto mm. Mm. Mama nakufa baba nakufa. Kuna wengine hata nyumba wakati ile mradi ulianza hata wengine wa nyumba zao zilikuwa katika hali mbaya wameza kubadilisha nyumba zao zikawa nzuri zaidi. Na pia kuna wengine unakuta ni wazee wako na watoto mayatima hizo pesa zimesaidia kupanda wa elimu. Na pia kuna wengine hata wameza hata kuanzisha miradi ya kuzalisha pesa. Baadhi ya walionufaika na mpango wa inua jamii wametumia fedha walizopata kujiendeleza katika kilimo kiwe cha mifugo au mimea ili kuchangia nguzo ya kujitosheleza kwa chakula na lishe bora. Ila ni zaidi ya sababu nime nime hiyo pesa hiyo ndugu moja nimekuzani mpaka nikapata mbusi ya elukumbili ikadodoa ikaendelea kuvuka hiyo mbuzi Mungu akinasaidia mbuzi ikaanza kusawa watoto mbili ingine tatu mbuzi ikasana ikakuwa mbuzi 15 hiyo tano nikausa nikaenda kwa soko nikanunua ngombe elubuku na sio wazee pekee Mayatima na wale mavu wanapatiwa shime kupitia mpango huo mwafaka. Tukiwa watu watano wa wenye wako na watoto yatima, tukaondelea hii pesa vile tunapewa na serikali tuweze kuitumia yenye itaweza kutusaidia, tukashikana tukaanza kutoa 500,000 kwa kila mtu, ikawa ni 2500 na miatano. Tukaonelea ni, ni vizuri tuanzie na kila mtu awe amenunua kuku hiyo 2500 inapea mmoja nunua kuku iwe ni kama kitu kingine ya kumuogesea kidogo angalau aweze kuendelea vizuri wameinvest wakipata hiyo pesa wanainvest wanaanza biashara wengine wanaanza kuuza nguo wengine wanaanza kununua donkeys na handcarts kuuza maji biashara fulani fulani which means sasa wanaendelea kibiashara na wanapata pesa nyingi hata zaidi na hiyo ni mambo mazuri sana Mungu 
kutoka kwa huduma moja ya kuimarisha maisha wa Kenya mbalimbali mbali, yani inua jamii hadi kwa huduma nyingine inayorahisisha huduma za serikali kwa wananchi huduma center Tulizuru jiji kuu la Kisumu na kujionea jinsi wananchi wanapata huduma mbalimbali mbali katika kituo hiki cha huduma center Ni mojawapo ya vituo hamsini na viwili kote nchini vilivyoanzishwa na serikali ili kurahisisha mambo. The center started off on a high note because all the highly sought government services are offered here. We have uh, an array of services, the IDs, we have ARPO, we have uh, business name registration, we have help, we have got NHIF, NSSF, we have KRA, we have uh, uh, Women Enterprise Fund. So with all those services here citizens have been have been. Wananchi kote nchini wanaendelea kupokea huduma za serikali kwa urahisi. Huduma center has really helped our country. It is fast. It really saves a lot. Most of when it was when offices were in different places you used to use a lot of fare. Sababu tulikuwa ikifika kama vitu kama umepoteza ID kwa inaenda mpaka au Nairobi ndio sasa process ina hiyo irudi huduma center na kupiga picha very fast na kusaidia kwa harakati haraka sana right now you come in one point meaning you save a lot on fare and the services are simpler and very fast literally all the services you will find the accuser because Uh, uh, the, even the county government, government of Kisumu has brought their services here. We have county government officers who offer the land rates. You are able to pay your land rates here. You are able to to get your business permits from here. In a far huduma centers, we just kuongeza wafanyi kazi wao ndio wafanyi kazi kwa haraka wa hudumie watu ili watu wote waridhike na huduma center. We receive over 1000 clients every day. In a week we serve over 10000 Yeah.